Hey guys, I thought I'd bring something different to the channel today compared to the normal FIFA videos. In today's video, we are going to be going over some football conspiracy theories. And if this video does do well, I could make this into a series. So make sure you do like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into it. Morata is a front for money laundering. Let's be honest, Alvaro Morata is a bang average striker. But somehow he keeps getting these big money moves for 50 million euros plus. I mean just listen to the kind of moves he's had in his career. Real Madrid to Juventus, then back to Real Madrid, then off to Chelsea, then he goes to Atleti and then finally back to Juventus. With that sort of career path, you would think Morata would be a goal machine, getting 30 plus goals across all competitions every season. But no, not once in his career has he ever had a season where he's got over 20 goals across all competitions. With all of that into consideration, I'm 90% sure. I, I actually, no, no. I'm 100% sure that this conspiracy is actually true. The Norwich and Fulham theory. This conspiracy basically states that the teams Norwich City and Fulham never seem to play each other. Truthfully, they don't actually play that often at all. In fact, the last time they played was in the 17-18 season in the Championship. Nowadays, both clubs just yo-yo between the Prem and Championship. Whenever Fulham get relegated from the Prem, Norwich City go up and vice versa. Ochoa only plays for Mexico. This one is pretty self-explanatory. I'm pretty sure everyone's heard it. And I'm pretty sure everyone believes that this Mexican goalkeeper doesn't play for a club. And he only ever shows up during international games and mainly the World Cup. According to Wikipedia, he has played in La Liga, Ligue 1 and is currently playing in Syria. But I highly doubt this is the case. Just think back, have you ever actually seen a Choa? play for another team other than Mexico. Haaland is a robot. Haaland has tore up Europe's best defences for years now, but no one really knows where he's actually come from. He claims to be Norwegian, but he just kind of spawned in. Some people say he was created in a lab to become the best player of all time, better than the likes of Messi and Pele. I mean, just look at Erling's stats, they speak for themselves, and he is only 22 years of age. The Zlatan is a god. This is probably the strangest one for today, but at one point you must have thought to yourself, is Zlatan a god? Just look at everything he's done in his career, all the amazing teams he has played for, and all the amazing goals he has scored. Age does not affect this man, or god. At 41, he is still somehow playing in a top 5 league at a high level, unlike certain players. I mean, just look at all the training videos he's posted. I mean, to look at his body for a middle-aged man. Zlatan is actually immortal. That was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to like it and subscribe to the channel as we're getting closer to 2K. And like I said, if this video does well enough, I'll turn this into a little mini-series. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, guys.